Aloha and welcome to Restaurants Hawaii on Think Tech Hawaii. I am your host, Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association and the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation. We discuss twice a month all of the important and timely topics around our Hawaii food service industry. And today I'm excited to say I have two guests and I'd like them to introduce themselves. First of all, may I have Daryl introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about yourself and the name of your organization. Hi guys, my name is Daryl. Uh, I'm the owner of Wafer Group Media. We are also the founder of um, Hawaii's Best Kitchens, Hawaii's Best Photos, and Hawaii's Best Bars, which is our main platform we uh, use on um, Instagram to showcase and feature um, restaurants, bars, food trucks, events. Awesome. Thank you, Daryl. Yeah. Thank you so much. Nice to see you again. Same and here. Yeah, and Keith, you <laughs> want to introduce yourself, Keith? Aloha, I'm Keith Malini. I'm the Assistant Food and Beverage Director for the Mauna Kea Resort. Um, basically, I'm responsible for the operations of the nine restaurants on the two properties on the resort, which are Mauna Kea Beach Hotel and the Western Hapuna Beach Hotel. Um, I'm on the Board of Directors of the HRA Educational Foundation. Um, I've been a member since um, earlier this year, and I'm excited to be here. Thanks. Thank you, Keith. So today our discussion is all around the best of Hawaii's best kitchens 2022. It's returning since a hiatus because of the pandemic back to the Hyatt Regency on September 24th, 2022. So what is Hawaii, the best of Hawaii's best kitchens? It's Hawaii's premier foodie event that will showcase Hawaii's top chefs, and restaurants at the Hyatt Regency, their beautiful pool deck. And this event is gonna be, is, we're gifted by Daryl. This event is a benefit for the Hawaii Restaurant Association's Educational Foundation to support Hawaii's high school culinary programs and their restaurant management curriculum that's taught in our local high schools here in Hawaii. The culinary programs taught in our local high schools, we award scholarships to students. We've awarded five students scholarships so they continue, can continue their education in the culinary in, um, education. And it also provides teacher grants and support to the schools that have the ProStart program. So we're really honored, Daryl, to be a beneficiary of the best of Hawaii's best kitchens. And we invite everyone who's of viewing this show today to please join us and it's going to be an awesome event so i'm going to have daryl tell us a little bit about the event and what we can expect on september 24th thanks cheryl um so this is our um our return back after our events at 2017 18 and 19 and during the pandemic um you know we were, nobody was going to do any type of event so this year we're coming back on september 24th at the high Regency, which is um, the event will be on the entire pool deck. Uh, we will be featuring 13 restaurants and it'll be, uh, we have uh, general mission, VIP, elite VIP tickets, this um, go around and the restaurants and chefs will be featuring a signature dish for all our guests to um, participate in. Um, you know, we've been fortunate that the response that we've had uh, throughout the time that we've been doing Hoist Best Kitchens that has grown into something that I would have never expected. Um, when we first, in 2017, when I reached 100,000 followers, um, I was asked, what was, I gonna, what was I gonna do? So we came up with this idea. And, you know, it just has grown from there to where these events, we do our monthly dinners. And basically, we like to help the restaurants and bars in Hawaii with um, getting them out there into the, you know, world, but you know, we're, again, too, we're just fortunate. And this year, I was asked um, to uh, help with the uh, HREF, which I gladly, you know, supported. And uh, anything that I could do, this is why we're, we're doing it. Again. Thank you, and we're so honored that we are the beneficiary of this event. And um, 
maybe I can have Keith share a little bit about the Educational Foundation and what we do and why, you know, this type of events supporting the Educational Foundation is so important to our, our future culinary superstars, our future chefs, and our teacher. Keith? Oh, uh, yes. So I'm here on the Big Island, um, Mauna Kea Resort, and I'm right, right now in Waimea, actually heading to work. But um, I think the foundation is doing amazing work with the Pro Start program, which is sponsoring the um, culinary programs in high schools around the state. Um, the one here on the Big Island is at Kohala High School, and I've been working with them. We actually have started an internship program for four of their seniors. Um, and they're bright, four young, bright kids. Um, we, we put them through the interview process of having them join the resort. And they're, they'll be working with us for 60 hours and also helping out as well. But I think the, the program is great. There are about 20 kids in Tracy's class. So Tracy Figaro is the teacher here up at Kohala High School. And she has an amazing facility. And they actually have... Um, a farm and they they raise produce and we're actually buying a lot of their produce at the at the hotel as well um, but i think the kids are all really super interested in the culinary industry um, and it's great for them to kind of get exposure um, through this program um, i've kind of worked with tracy a little bit on the curriculum um, the educational foundation supports all of the um, the textbooks and all the teaching materials and they also sponsor a serve safe certification program which i was really impressed and the chefs at the hotel were really impressed that these four kids like pass their serve safe examination with flying colors so i think this program is is pretty amazing for our state um for this island particularly as well because as we all know we're in a shortage of of labor especially in kitchens so all of our kitchens are suffering I think the more we can get these kids interested in joining this um, this career path, it's um, it's pretty pretty amazing. Thank you so much, Keith. And you know, I just want to let our viewers know that the elite and VIP tickets sold out, right, Daryl? So our elite VIP tickets sold out within the first day um, right. of sales, and our VIPs we do have a few left. Um, which I'm totally surprised at the response we got. This is, we just released the tickets on the uh, September 2nd. And by the third, again, the unique VIPs were sold out. Uh, but we do have, you know, general admission still available, which uh, we more than, you know, want people to come and try all the different restaurants that will be there supporting the HRA EF. Um, and then we have, we have some, some surprises too for our guests there. Nice, nice. So, yes, the elite VIP tickets are sold out, but we still have the general admission tickets that are still for sale. So, if you are yes. interested, please register, purchase your tickets early. And we we also have sponsorship opportunities still available. So, I just want to give a shout out, Daryl, to our presenting sponsor, Tito's. Thank right. you so much for Tito's for being the presenting sponsor of the evening. Our silver sponsors are. Odom and Coca-Cola Bottling of Hawaii, WCIT Expex, our bronzes, Ricky, thank you, Ricky, at Allstate Insurance, Kahala Branch, American Floor and Home, Engels and Volkers, thank you, Kay, Foodland, Hawaii News Now, Mad Bene, Prince Resorts, and Young Brothers. But we still have sponsorship of opportunities available, so if you're interested in it, please give me a shout out. Now. The event that night, what do people other than, I mean, of course, the food we're looking forward to because we are going to be having students there. Our culinary future chefs will be there plating and serving. And so we're really excited of getting our high school students involved in it, Daryl, because, you know, to show them that this is, you know, to be in an event like this, many of them don't have the opportunity to sure. do it. So can you kind of go over a little bit? There'll be music. Yes, yeah, so um, our VIPs and elite VIPs will have the opportunity to enter at one hour early at 6 p.m. Our general admission um, guests will um, enter at 7 p.m. The event goes from uh, 6 to 10 o'clock. We do have uh, entertainment um, that will be uh, featured. Uh, we do have, with the help of our, our students, they'll be providing uh, table-side service for our elite VIP guests. 
Um, and we do have, you know, even at least um, there'll be um, each one of them will get a, a feature signature Tito's cocktail as they enter, as well as they have a, their own Elite VIP swag bag, which we're very um, uh, honored to have so many uh, companies uh, donate their swag bag. And, you know, it's a, it's a fun evening. Um, it's, again, gives not only the students, but a lot of our guests a chance to try restaurants that they normally wouldn't have a, an opportunity to go to. But it just, it, overall, it's just a totally, it's a, fa I'm not family, but it's a fun event for everyone involved. We are so looking forward to it. You know, some of the schools that the Educational Foundation, the Pro Start schools that we support, and through Daryl, you know, we're the beneficiary of this event. So the high schools that Daryl is supporting is Castle High School, Farrington High School, Moana Loa, Roosevelt, Kaiser, Maui, Kohala, Lelehua, McKinley, and Pearl City. And good news, Daryl, you know, through the efforts of the Educational Foundation, we also have three more high schools that will be coming on board very shortly. This is so, yeah. This is so needed. As Keith said, Keith, as we struggle with the worker shortage, you know, in getting these students excited by having them at the event, Daryl, is going to be super awesome because they get to see, because uh, they're young, right? I mean, they're students. The teachers will be with them. The teachers will be their chaperones. But, you know, they've never probably been to anything as, as exciting. They've probably seen it on TV and they've probably seen it you know, on, on Netflix, but they've never been at it personally. So this is really exciting for them. So Daryl, did I miss anything? Is there anything else about the event that we need to share with our viewers to give them a little idea so that they, you know, purchase tickets early? Well, I think to it, you know, as we are honored to be um, benefiting the HREF, I think for all our residents here, you know, that's, that's something that everybody should look forward, forward to attending our event, as well as supporting in other ways. Because without our high school culinary arts students, you know, there will be no college culinary arts students. And, and going further, further, no new Hawaii chefs coming out or people in the restaurant and bar industry. I think that's why it was so important for uh, me to um, do this event for the uh, HRIEF, learning the stories about, from exactly from the uh, high school in Kohala, that really, you know, made a difference in, in why I wanted to, this is actually the first time I am benefiting a nonprofit. And this one is so important to us that what we talked about from day one. And we're so, we're so blessed that we are going to be the beneficiary of this event. And, you know, the word, the, the message that I'm hearing once we talk to the people who are sponsoring Daryl, all of our sponsors is like, this is awesome that Daryl can really support Hawaii's high school culinary programs. And these are our future chefs and our future superstars. Right. And getting them so excited, you know, to continue their education by providing them scholarships, by providing the teachers with grants and providing school support. That's what the Educational uh, Foundation is all about. And I just read, you know, all the names of all the high schools that we support. So Keith, is there anything else that you would like to share about yes. the <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to seeing Daryl. Daryl and I have worked on a few events in the past, and this being like the first one after after everybody staying home for a few years, I'm really looking forward to reconnecting with all the industry people who will most probably be there and hopefully catch up and chat and talk about the Educational Foundation. Um, I will say one of our students here at Kohala is going on to the um, CIA, Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park after he graduates. Um, so that was very impressive. And he organized his own little fundraisers here in Kohala to, to, to be able to pay for his trip to Hyde Park for the interviews and just very um, resourceful and energetic little kids. And the more that we can help them and more that we can inspire them, I think it's, it's just amazing thing to do. Right. And Keith, can you cover some of the, mention some of the um, things that they learn because it's a two-year culinary program that's in our local high schools, juniors and seniors. Yeah. So kind of what are some of the topics that they learn? And then when they graduate, what do they have under their belt 
to get into mm -hmm. our restaurants and food service and our hotels. So a lot of a lot of it ba is based on the serve safe, serve safe certification, which is based on sanitation in the kitchen, proper um, cutting cutting techniques, and just being able to um, keep a, a clean kitchen. So a lot of these kids go through a really rigorous training of that. Um, I will say that some of our chefs at Mauna Kea Resort didn't pass the first test that they took of Surf Safe. So these kids having passed it on the first time was was pretty amazing. So they learned the basics of kitchen etiquette. They learn how to um, work with the chef and the, the whole hierarchy of the of the kitchen, where you have the chef, the chef de cuisine and the sous chef, and they learn all that and how to behave in a kitchen as well. Um, they have just started a baking program and i think two three of the kids that we're starting the internship with are pretty have become expert bakers so we're looking forward for them to work with our executive pastry chef uh, michael morehouse in being able to inspire them even more so it's it pretty much covers all operational aspects of working in a kitchen and it's a it's a good exposure even though they're in the classroom they don't get much real real life exposure. This is why we're trying to start this internship program. And hopefully we'll be able to get this internship in more properties around here in the Big Island and get, and get more um, high schools involved as well. And they're in Oahu as well. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. It reminds me of a story. Daryl, I just want you to know these students that you're now supporting through this, through this um, event. This gal, sweetheart, 17 years old, got a scholarship that year <clears throat> we were able to award three scholarships and I said so you're going to be going to college and you're going to be learning more about the culinary institute and she said yes and I said so what do you want to do and you know just out of the mouth of babes Daryl she just looked at me with her big eyes and I'm going to cry because she said auntie I want to have a bakery and I'm going to hire the homeless and I'm going to teach the homeless how to cook and bake. And if I teach them how to bake and I can give them jobs in my bakery, they don't have to live on the streets anymore. This is a 17 year old ch child telling me that she's now solved our homeless problem and she's gonna support them so that she can also you know, support her family through her bakery. But now she's provided education for them and training. 17 years old. These are the students that come out of our educational foundation. It's just amazing. And Keith knows because he's met them, right? Keith, in your right. hotel, they're so mature. They're just, they know that they love the culinary industry. And that's who we need to keep, not only in our industry, but on our islands. We need to keep these students here and not lose them. So thank you. I just needed Daryl to know. The impact that he's making by providing. Can we, can we invite her as our guest? Oh, Gabby. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can yeah. go down. Can we do that? Can I write that down? Okay. Yes. Please do. Oh my goodness! And so she's telling me the story, Daryl. And as she's telling me the story, her father and her sister is sitting there, and I'm crying, right? And the father's <laughs> looking at me like, "Why is this lady crying?" I said, "Because your daughter, you hey. know, for her culinary." interest through what she wants to, loves to do right as now her heart has now tried to help the homeless and she said auntie if i can teach them and i can give them money then they don't have to be homeless yeah, please admit her amazing i also had another scholarship um student that that round we were talking and i said he was actually there was a knife cutting competition and I understand that this guy who won that company, he got a scholarship also. He ended up at LCC. He um, won the knife skills competition. And evidently, it's very competitive, guys. And this guy can handle a knife. And evidently, it's beautiful. It's like art, they said, when he starts slicing and dicing. And um, he was very he was very sweet. And, and, and I said, I heard you won the competition. And it was a you know, a large competition. And he said, yes, I did. And that's his thing, you know, cutting up, cutting and preparing food and all the different flavors. He just was a, he was a sweetheart, just a sweetheart. 
And you know, this is going to be right, Keith, our future, our future chef, our future yeah. industry leaders, and that's what we're totally. Going to do. And these these kids are all very inspirational. They all have a voice, and they all have. They're so focused right now, and I'm really impressed that this program uh, provides them a platform for them to express themselves. So if we didn't have these culinary programs in the high schools, they probably wouldn't even know what what a culinary career is all about. Um, so this this is great exposure for the kids, and we're learning, as you mentioned with your stories, that they're just very inspirational and just taking taking the opportunity and running with it. Yes, and I want to also, you know, Daryl mentioned the instructors. These instructors, Keith will tell you, Tracy is awesome, right, Keith? Like you were saying, yeah. she's farming, they're selling the produce that they're growing so that they can have more funds, so that they can buy more products, so they can teach the students how to make sushi or how to, you know, make Simon or whatever it is they're teaching the students how to make. And um, it's it's so inspirational to see the involvement and the, and the con contribution that these teachers give. I've been to some of these classrooms and Daryl, you have to know, they literally have a burner. They literally have a burner and, and, and some of the classrooms where they said they could only have like one device on at a time because their circuits can't take right. the surge. <laughs> and so we try, you know, the Educational Foundation provides for the instructors. There's a wish list. They give us a wish list and some of them just want basics. Use pots and pans, use mixing bowls, you know, just use um, appliances that they can use in their kitchen so that they can teach the student how to use these the equipment use knives they'll take anything and these are the, the teachers that are really cultivating our future culinary leaders and those teachers are just amazing you're going to get to meet a few of them at the event because right. yes because the, the teachers are bringing the students down so they can chaperone the students so now we've got five minutes left Keith, is there anything you want to say before we wrap up this show? Well, you mentioned the ingenuity of the teachers and working with what they have. Um, and this is, we we are happy to be able to, to offer resources for them to, to get more equipment in the, in the classrooms. Um, so I'm happy to be able to show the kids What a real operation looks like in a hotel, like in their own high schools, that might might be a little a better thing as well. Nice, but it is, and I really looking forward to to this event um, coming back. While and then as, as meeting all all of them, all the chefs, and you, Cheryl, looking forward to seeing you in person too. <laughs> Yes, that's right, Keith. I don't know if we've ever seen each other in person because of Zoom. <laughs> and he sits on our board of directors and we have monthly meetings. <laughs> Keith, how wild is that? <laughs> oh, looking forward to seeing you too. Daryl, do you have anything you want to wrap up? We've got three minutes left. Sure. Um, if you can invite as my as my guest the three scholarship winners. In the, is it three or four scholarship winners? Um, so the total is five. Can you invite all five, please, on behalf of Hoy's Miss Kitchens. Sure. And on the on our website for purchase tickets, I did include a donation button. That make the event only to the great yet. Yeah. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you so much. So, in closing, everyone, you know, we want to thank Daryl Cha. Daryl is the owner of the best of Hawaii's best kitchens. And we're just so honored that he selected the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation to be the beneficiary of the event on September 24th. Again, everyone at the Hyatt, and my name again is Cheryl Matsuoka. We look forward to seeing everybody at the Hyatt Regency on September 24th, the best of Hawaii's best kitchens. Thank you.
Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.